Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to use Night Server, Nitro, and create APIs to make a full stack app. All right, now I'm on my desktop and I want to create a next app here in this folder projects. I open a terminal here and open VS code here. All right, and open a new terminal here and create a next app, run npx nuxy at latest in it and my dash app for the app name and for the package manager i choose npm all right initialize git repository yes all right done now we need to go to this directory and run npm run dev cd my dash app and npm run dev all right, now we can see our next app at this address. I copy it and go to command palette, view, command palette, and look for browser, simple browser. Paste the address here and hit the enter. All right, here is our app. Let me close this. A simple next app. And here is the app.view, the main page source code. All right, let me put this here and split the window and put this here and remove these default codes. All right, now here I want to create an input for name. Placeholder, name, and the button to send. Now I want when I enter a name here and click on send, send the name to an API. Let's create the API. In next apps, there's a server folder and to create APIs, we need to create API folder within the server folder. And here we can create API. For example, I create name.ts and the file name will be used for the path of the API. All right. Now here, export, default, and define event handler, and an async function, event, and OK. Now I want to send this input data to this API and receive it here. All right, back to the app.view, and here, create script tag, setup language typescript and okay all right first create a ref for this input const name input an empty ref and bind it to the input using v dash model Put this here, all right. Next, create a function to submit the data to the API. All right, here I use $fetch. You can use any data fetching function you want. And the path, it suggested API slash name. As you can see, the path is the file name without .ts, API slash name. Next, add options. I use method, post, and the body. The body is the data we want to send it to the API. So I create an object with a name property and for the value, Use the name input ref, which is bound to the input field. Name input dot value. Next, bind this function to the send buttons click event. Using add click and submit. All right, it's ready. Now, if I enter a name here and click on send, it will be sent to the name API. 
Now let's receive the data here. Create a const, request body, and use await, read body, and events. First, let's console log it to see how it is. Console log, request body. And let's bring back the terminal, enter a name, and send. Done, it works. And here we can add more fields to the request. For example, I add bone and send and you can see it here all right and to access each field's value just use request body dot field for the name request body dot name all right and the api can also return a value for example return an object with a message property hello the name request body that name all right now let's receive this data here in the app that view and display it here first create a const response ref an empty object and after sending the request to the api you then and get the data and put it in the response dot value and finally display the response after the button an hr tag and response that message and this is because we need to define type for the response i define any all right now let's see the results all right hello ben and let me show you the document Go to next website, next three. Get started. And from the left menu, scroll down and go to server. And here you can see documents about next server. And here it says next server is Nitro. And this is its GitHub and this is its website. All right get started and here you can see documents about nitro database website and other stuff all right and also on stack blitz you can see the app we made in the video you can see it live and edit it api and All right, and the link to the stack blitz is in the caption.